Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Frame and Cooling Products. My name is Josh and I'm going to walk you through our IR33 Corel controller. To start off, everyone make sure that you, if you've never done this before, make sure you have our service bulletin handy with you. It walks you step by step on how to turn this thing on and go through each set point change. To walk you through our setup here a little bit more, we have a return temp sensor here. As you can see here, we have our supply temp, which we have in a cold bottle of water. From there, I'm going to go ahead and turn our IR33 Corel controller to the on position. As you guys can see, the Corel is what I call waking up. Give it about 10 to 15 seconds. From there, as you guys can see, we're currently in our supply air position. We're reading 41.8 degrees, which is our water bottle, which would be your leaving air. And then if I switch this to return air, we're going to be reading ambient. Ambient in the room is currently 75 degrees. All right, guys, welcome back. Now that you've been introduced to the IR33 Corel controller, I'm going to teach you guys how to change the set points on the controller. Before we do that, I'm going to show you guys the four buttons you have available to change on this controller. The program key, never hit that or you're going to be calling us for tech support. To change your set points, you're going to hold the set key right there for roughly five seconds, and then this Corel will begin to flash and you can change your set points using the up and down arrows to do so. I'm going to show you guys how to do that now on the live Corel we have over here. So currently, we're going to change our returner set point, which is your ST1. You're going to hold set for roughly five seconds. Shows ST1. Currently, it's set at 72 degrees. We're going to drop that down to 70 degrees. And to save that in, we're going to hit set. Now it's showing us ST2, which is your supplier set point, which is currently set at 57. We're going to drop that down to 55. And the final step to make sure you save both set points in, be sure to go back and hit the set key, and it'll go back to reading whatever sensor you are selected on. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Hi everyone, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the IR33 Corel controller. This is something we run into quite often. We have a service bulletin, as always, that walks you through step by step on how to unlock the Corel controller. This is also found on our website, guys. The first thing a lot of people do when they have never messed with an IR33 Corel controller is they go to change the set point, they use the up or down arrows. What we're going to do here is I'm going to press the down arrow and show you guys that. We're not actually going through the set points. And then what everyone else normally does is they're going to hold set. See if we can get back to where we're looking at. The IR33 Corel is not going to tell you no. What we need to do is go back to B1, which is what we're actually using to read the temperature probes that are located on your unit. In order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to hit your down arrow again. And we're going to down arrow until we find B1. And once we find B1, we're going to hold set for five seconds. That's all there is to it, guys. Thank you, guys. Stay safe.